I'm Lisa Leak with 100 Days of Real Food, and today I'm gonna to give you a tour of my real food freezer. Actually, my two real food freezers, because I do have another one in the back, but let's start here. So right at the top, I have just some extra butter. I certainly never wanna run out of butter, and it freezes so well. And then I have just some little popsicles I made for the girls using uh, apple juice. And this little drawer right here is our frozen vegetables. The um, frozen peas, is that's a really popular item around here that my girls really love. And in this next drawer, I have some frozen fruit that we use for smoothies. And right below, I have ice packs that we put in school lunch boxes and also coolers when we're taking them. And then down below, those are actually just seeds for our garden that I keep for months until we plant the next uh, round. And right over here on the door, we have our frozen smoothie pop molds that um, are filled with leftover smoothie. And my girls love to eat these or take them in their lunch as well. But let's, let me take you back to the back where the real freezer is, where the rest of our real food items are. So this is our other freezer back here in the mudroom and we bought this freezer when we first decided to cut out processed food because we learned that when you go to the farmer's market and you find some great local grass-fed beef or whole chicken that all that is sold frozen so we wanted a place to be able to store it and also a place to keep things that I make like muffins or pancakes or waffles because I can't exactly be whipping that up from scratch every day so I make those when I have a chance and then I freeze them for another day. So. Let me show you inside. Starting at the top, you can see that we have a lot of our flowers and things. Um, I used to keep white flour in the pantry because it would never spoil, but whole wheat flour, because it's so much more nutritious, actually does spoil if you keep it at room temperature. So I do keep all of our whole grain flours, including our um, masa harina that I use to make corn tortillas. And I like to keep them in these glass jars just so I don't have too many bags falling all over the place. Uh, right down here, I have whole wheat breadcrumbs. Some are homemade. Sometimes I buy um, a brand that is called Ian's. It's a very simple, 100% whole wheat brand of breadcrumbs. Also right here, I have um, whole spelt flour. These are um, dried chickpeas that I use to make hummus. And then in the summer months, I'll take um, local produce like corn and blueberries and freeze those and put them in these jars and we'll use it all winter long. So I love to have that on hand. Right here in this drawer, I have some of those baked goods I mentioned, like muffins. I also have um, some whole wheat pitas that I buy from Trader Joe's. This is another item that is um, store-bought that has a very simple list of ingredients and is 100% whole grain. And I also have some bread that I buy from Great Harvest. I've talked about that on the blog a lot. They have a five ingredient, 100% whole grain bread. So when I have a chance to get the bread store, I buy a couple loaves and then I freeze it for whenever we're ready to use it. I also have some whole wheat um, hot dog buns, some brown rice noodles that I actually had to order online. I had to order like a pack of six, so I just put them in there to, to use them later and to make sure they'd last. And then here in the bottom drawer, I have um, that meat I was telling you about, like grass-fed beef. And actually I have, um, I'm lucky to have a rack of lamb in here too that I got from the farmer's market that I'm gonna save for a special occasion. And it's actually getting a little low. I need to stock up and get another whole chicken to put in there. And right here on the door, I have a bunch of homemade soups. And I love to have these on hand. My daughters take soup about once a week in their school lunch. And so what I do is I just make a big batch and then I freeze them in these jars, but I leave a little room at the top for the liquid to ex expand. And we just put it in here and once a week they come in and, and pick out something for lunch or maybe I do for my own lunch and we have it defrost in the fridge overnight. And it's so helpful to have those types of things that I made in advance rather than the boxed store-bought convenience food. So um, that is basically what's in my freezer or my freezers. And be sure to check out 100daysofrealfood.com for a tour of my pantry and refrigerator as well. Thanks for joining me.